Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a little free build. You'll just be building along with me. Uh, I ended up making this house um, in my town Edelweiss on Bittercraft. And um, this will just be a pre-made house for someone to move into. So I'm not decorating it or anything. Uh, I also accidentally left my chat turned on, so I hope that's not distracting. But um, let's just get right into it. Hey, today I'm just going to be building... A little house. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, so I guess we'll see. I think I want double door. I can always change this later, but this is my color palette that I've picked out. Just going for kind of a cabiny theme. Oh, you can see my phantom. Hey guy. Okay. I like that so far. I think I want to do. Let's see if that broke. For my roof. Maybe on these slabs. I don't know yet. I don't remember how this goes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I wanted to do an A frame, which you just kind of do. You want to you do the. Solid block, stair, solid block, stair. Just so it gets really pointy. I just do a solid block on top, I think. It looks better when you add the like eaves on the outside. You can really tell if you need it to be whatever. Oops. Okay. So I just have... Wow, that looks so fucked up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I can even make these both stairs. <laughs> I'm just putting eaves on the outside so that it sticks out a little bit, has a little more depth. Upside down stuff, so it looks like thicker. See, like, oh, look at the difference between the sides. Like, it just looks less choppy and looks more curved. Looks more sexy. Okay, and then I can go for a window, like right there. I'm gonna do blocks just because, just because it looks a little more solid. Let's see. Pink ones and mizunos. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. So let's just my little entrance. Okay, I don't know what kind of floor plan I'm doing yet. Here, let me look. You have like a cute little entrance like that. And then it comes out to the sides here. I can have like kind of an X roof pattern. I think that'll be cute. Yeah, let's do that, like kind of a cross house. Let's go through your part, yeah. Okay. Three that way. Oops. So I just have kind of, it's gonna go walls along there. And then walls. So these corners were just to mark it where it was gonna go. It's just kind of dark now. Okay, so it's a little easier to see. I, mm, I don't know if I like it being that deep because the center is really small, but um, I'll just do the roof first since we don't really have a lot of walls and just extend that out. This part is so annoying. So now we have this little kind of mud room area, which I think is really cute. Having a little entrance 
into the main room. I don't think this will be too small at all. I think it'll be cute. So you can kind of, I'm going to lay out the walls so you can kind of see the floor plan a little better. Okay, so we'll do like that, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull across this whole roof on the side. So I think that's actually a little too low, but it's fine. I'll end up using some of it. So we're going to do the corners over here, which I know they'll be at least that tall. I also want to do the same sort of A-frame style. So the best way for me to kind of map that out is to just do the roof first. Because I don't remember, I never remember how tall these are going to be. Wait, is this the same width? Two there. No, so this is actually a little wider than the front, so it'll end up being taller. Which, it doesn't have to be. It just won't come to a point. So, it'll have a little flat spot on the top. See, if we keep going in, it will be taller than this, and we want it to intersect nicely, so I'm just going to go stairs right here, and then I think just solid blocks, so that when it comes here, it's at the same height. And then you have this beautiful little cross shape across the top. And then you get the corners like this. I kind of built too much of it before I started the second side, so I'm having to break blocks. But if you plan ahead, like I didn't, um, then you can kind of anticipate that and not waste all your materials. So you're just kind of filling up sides. There we go. Now it's like this clean little intersection, and then. You just want to do that on this side, and then do what you do on the front, on the back. So it's just basically two different sides, and then just fill in the rest. Okay, and I don't forget to do the upside down stairs in the corners to make it look rounder. And right here too. Okay, um, I'm just going to punch out my windows here. I'm going to use the slabs on this one because there's no door. I mean, not slabs. Panes. <laughs> kind of like to have a gap in between, but I also like to have something in the middle, so maybe like that. Mmm. I'll workshop it. Ooh, maybe wait. Hold on. cathedral like well we'll see we'll come back to it okay so there's the side complete maybe different windows later but we'll see okay now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the side so I just start again I'll just Break these out of the way first. Oops, wait. It's two right there. Three there. 
think I want a fireplace on this side, so I'm not going to do any windows. Okay, there it is without the eaves, so it's a little easier to see where you place the first bits. And then you just connect it to what you did earlier. Oops. So now you have this X shape. That's kind of what the roof's going to look like. It's not totally done yet. <laughs> okay, you can fill in the walls over here. this way. Make sure you fill in the wall right here otherwise it's just like a gap like that. Which you could put something right there actually now that I think about it but I just prefer to fill them up at first. Alright. Here I'm just going to finish the other side of the roof before I throw the eaves on. I'll do them all at once. Alright, and then maybe the same kinds of windows as over there, except we have a little more space because there's no door. Let's get really tall. <laughs> kind of a tree in my way, but all right, don't forget to do the upside down stairs. on this side and then the roof is done. All right, and I'm leaving this one blank because I'm going to put a fireplace. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to fill these in. Inside's done. little corners. Okay, so I know the floors are not done. <laughs> I think I'm going to do for this one stone brick because I like the stairs. Not infested, please. So I do have a, an odd, I mean an even numbered fireplace here, so it's going to be kind of huge, but I prefer doing even so that the roof is pointier, but um, it's up to you. You can make, you can make this um, odd numbered, it's just a little bit, it's going to turn a little bit different. kind of cute. And then the fire part. <laughs> um, actually, I think I'll make this you can use this as an uh, 
what do you call it? <laughs> Mantle. Oh, that's cuter. I like that better. Okay. So then I'm just going to break these out. Just go maybe like three or four blocks taller. Okay, that's cute. It's like three and a half. And then I like to do just a little detail on top. And then some, just like a couple, oops, like this, just so that it looks like there's something behind. And then there's the fireplace. You can also do, I like to do this. Grab some, in Mizuno's this light gray is the only one that looks white. But just grab some. which I think they kind of look like smoke. Oops. Just put them not next to each other, but kind of swirling around. You can also use, what is it called, cobwebs? Like here, this one's over here has it. Also looks like smoke. I just, it's not as survival friendly, and uh, I personally don't use it that much, but I think it's cute. I just like, it's a little more simple. Okay, so there's the exterior. Um, not sure if I like this window, it's kind of big. Maybe if I should make it a little shorter. I like that a little better. That's always easy to change on your own if you prefer. Okay, and then for the floors, I'm not sure what I want yet. Maybe spruce? I usually do planks for these. And fire spread is off on our server, so I don't have to worry about doing that. But um, if it's not where you're playing, you can do maybe like a brick or something. Put it like that. I think that's cute. And oh, I um, really like using the iron bars. You can also use glass panes. But it um, just depends on what you like or what texture pack you're using. I just think these look so fucking cute in this. But I'm going to stick with wood because I can. <laughs> real quick. All right, so there's our house. Just gonna put a little bit of path up to it. <laughs> okay, and uh, I'm going to leave the decorating to whoever moves in here, so I'm just going to call it done. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something. One more little pan. <laughs>